I'm Dr. Rajesh Kothari. Welcome you all on behalf of Takshila Business School. At the outset, I welcome you to join this well-meaning webinar on about finance. I'm sure you have some idea about what finance is all about, why we are doing this kind of uh, webinar. My dear students, my dear children, my dear participants, from the experience of more than four decades, I've reached to this conclusion that for the last three decades, a significant change has taken place in our market space. And the market space says our success, our wealth is counted only in number, and that number is said to be the monetary number. Therefore, we like, we don't like, but we have to have good and sound knowledge of finance. Do you agree or you don't? Number one. Number two, can we recall significant changes that have taken place for last three decades? And therefore, what used to be a passive, dull, boring has turned out to be most interesting, challenging, and ever active subject called finance one. Trust me, the ball set rolling in 1992 when the, for the first time people have seen the power of finance. As such, the entire game has changed. And today we are driven by market forces. And in the market forces, I think you'll all agree that he who is the fittest will survive, just will have to pack up. So first significant change that have taken place during the last three decades is change in market perception, change in economic system, and what used to be driven by buyer still good, but sellers monopoly have taken a back seat. Result, result, product that you consume have become very short life. Customer loyalty has changed drastically. And therefore, the competition has stepped up because remember, we have entered a market driven system and in market driven system, competition is the first and final outcome. So, in any competitive market, rush to buy, rush to procure, rush to retain, buyer is the first and formidable, uh, formidable challenge before any distributor, producer, etc. In simple words, for last three or four decades, or three decades as the case may be more precisely, the drastic change has taken place in the market space and what used to be seller's market is now buyer's market. And that you can very well, I'm sure that you can very well imagine how people are good at in their buying power. So, so what used to be a controlled economy, a controlled system where you, we have faced this shortage of production, shortage of supply, no choice was available to you and to me as well. And the choice was what producer could produce, we have to buy. Probably I don't know how many of you born before 1992 or even that point of time. If that is true, then you can talk, then you can talk to your parents, ask your parents that they all would stand in long queue to buy something, be it cement, be it sugar, be it automobile, be it television, or be it any of the goods, because that point of time, the mandate was not the market efficiency, the mandate was good to all, right? And we had control system, we got ration system. And probably do you recall the time, my dear children, my dear students, my dear participants, do you recall the time, if not you, then your parents can bear me out, to deposit money into the bank, you have to stand in queue, all right? Going to bank would mean as if somebody is going to give some penalty or they're going to penalize. How did you, how dare do you come to the bank branches, one. And as such, as such, your choice was restricted, limited choice. I remember one classical advertisement of that point of time only, ECTV was the first and foremost brand that point of time, the electronic corporation of India Limited one, probably you may press your memory to recall was there or there not, anyway. To buy that television, you had long procedures, getting Russian card, applying for it, then one day you go and deposit documents, other day you take a delivery, all right. What I'm drawing your attention, 
because you must understand the appreciate you must understand and appreciate the background in which we have sailed through from control to market regulated economy and if i ask you very honestly nowadays the icons have changed clear probably all the icons whom you feel they are the torch bearer are the one who have made lot of money in recent time be it film star be it cricketer be it politician be it stock broker etc etc the point that i'm trying to say is very simple and the point is what we talk about we simply focus on money wealth clear so first mandate that we try and say and that we have even said in our uh, tagline in our punch line those who don't wish to be billionaire and those who don't wish to be karodpati or arodpati i'll advise you can pack up and move on right unless you have a desire to be successful fortunately unfortunately success means lot of wealth you have created lot of wealth that you have earned clear and 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 surprisingly you discover you discover the wealth creation is not by default but by careful choice and planning this the recent success of zomato for example one nike is second suggest that we are ready to take on something that is innovative that is the new one and we are not banking upon the old and the oldest one so again i'll suggest all my dear participants if you don't have desire to be millionaire to be billionaire i wish i wish leave this webinar and hang on to some insta watch others photos to begin with to begin with i start with this observation if you are successful people will follow you else you will keep following people around your choice because nowadays life is matter of choice because lot many opportunities are available when i was young like you i'm talking about 40 years back even 50 years back we didn't have the opportunity as you have today all right you are very well glued to the technology development one within nanoseconds you can talk to the entire world you can across right so power of communication is now that is in your hand you can go viral you can do the social media etc so all things have taken place but can you can you say what is there all that is behind all the operation that you come across be it youtube those those so called youtubers make money into lakhs and etc still that is not in price finding you well i can't help clear those social media blog and bloggers making money because they are going with the time they are swimming with the time and time says you have to be updated you have to be innovate you have to work up so so decide i repeat decide how many followers you have on your account and that should be a lagging bell for you why should you try and endorse somebody who who is not your icon why don't you become the icon of yourself i'm raising this question to you therefore remember i repeat your success will make you a hot throb of millions your success will make you an iconic figure and people will start following you if still not interested then sorry i'm not talking to the right kind of audience one my audience is the one who has got desire to kill desire to make a desire to rule the world clear and right now the ruling the world is not by the arms and ammunition that you have but the financial powers on the latter side if you recall the founder of amazon bis joseph the name has given few thousand dollars to his wife on separation right so understand three things number one today we are talk about financial wealth and the financial wealth determine the success or failure in the life we like or we don't like this is the fact number two number two the creating wealth is not a difficult preposition now because there happens to be tremendous rise in opportunities and remember what's the opportunity that you select is you you can make you can make a killing over there clear number 3 we like or we don't like the person who influences most have changed drastically and today 
who is going to inspire you with all due respect to our freedom fighters. We, we keep them at heart. In the contemporary time, I think it is the Ambani, Adani, this influence the young minds more than anybody else, right or wrong, that we decide. Because we have driven and we have adopted, we are into a market-driven system, all right? Now, you join a career, you join any position, what your parents say, they simply say, make good money in their life, clear? Unless you've got a craze for those kind of government organization, you prefer to be an entrepreneur, you prefer to be something in the private sector, provided you're competent. Some of us join government organization, besides security, there is something called greasing the palm under the table, could be a phenomenon over there. But, but if you have confidence, if you have faith in you, then I'll advise, show your, show your ability and be a man of words. All right. Now, interestingly, what I've said, what I talk about at this point of time sounds good. Then you can ask if you want at this point of time. Anybody else would like to say, would like to ask? Please, it is going to be interactive. I don't want simply just, just keep sitting over there and just plugging the earphone and then moving here and there. Don't do that. At least don't, don't waste your time if you're not interested in this kind of uh, webinars one. All right. I'm sure nothing is there to be asked or you want, you say all, all is there. Probably none of you is going to ask at this point of time. Fine. So, coming to the purpose of this webinar is twofold. Number one, do you appreciate finance? If yes, then you must understand. You must understand what finance is all about. Clear? Number two, how you can go about it. At the outset, I say everything that has monetary consideration. Everything that has monetary indication, monetary expression is nothing but finance only. Finance is more than currency that we carry. Finance is something that is the backbone of entire economic activity. Be producer, be consumer, be distributor, or be competitors. Finance is backbone of every action that we do in terms of Management language, this is the key factor common to all functional area. Clear? Now, this key factor is so crucial, so crucial that the best of the time of all CEOs goes for viability, survival, and growth of these organizations. And that the growth is seen only in terms of number, be it turnover, be it cash profit, be it net profit be it economic value, be it book value, be it price earning, and be it market price, or as the case may be. Clear? So, to appreciate the fact that we are here, that we are here to understand the world of finance means we must understand and appreciate the dimensions, the area in which there is predominance of finance. Even Government of India is worried about budget, another expression of finance. Even the government of India is, is keen to worry about how to beat COVID and, and, and they claim and they say that, yes, they are facing the resources crunch, means financial resources are not there as we require it to be, all right? So to begin with, so to begin with, when I talk about finance, we simply talk about is nothing but provision of money as and when we require, clear? And now issue is this, when I use the word money, remember, money is what money does, right? Money is indeed a very good servant, but very bad master. So making money, if that is not inspiring you, I'm sorry, you're not fit for this market driven system, which is the truth worldwide, world over. And the truth is so severe, once upon a time, the mighty, the mighty USSR have been divided into number of number of small countries because of because of this market driven system only. Despite the fact that US economy is not very strong, it is the largest in the world. China has emerged like, like anything for last three decades because of 
because of financial management or resources it commands in terms of production, in terms of supply and in terms of technology. All right. So, before we go in details, let's understand and appreciate the current market situation. As I as I've told you, the current market situation talks about a market-driven economic system. In a market-driven economic system, the economic forces are in the hands of the government, in the hands of the producers, and they keep on they keep on figuring out what could be good, what could be better for the consumer at the end. All right. So first perception is we have moved successfully from, from seller's market to buyer's market. And today you as a buyer are the real king in the market. You can write off any product that you don't feel good about. You can demand. And therefore, if you remember the classic example of uh, an advertisement from Asian Pants, and the tagline used to be Meravala Pink. All right. What I'm figuring out is that so we are in a market driven system wherein the lot more focus is not on tailor made but on customization. The products can be made as you dream, the size can be done as you require. And moreover, with the advent of e platform things have become more demanding, more expressive, and therefore, you have choose the product that you like. If you don't like, you can return the product, you can pay on delivery, you can postpone delivery, and number of options are there because remember, this market driven system means we have entered into a competitive market. Now, a competitive market is one which is not driven by demand push, but driven by supply push. And this supply push says, that today, if you look at the economy, we are supply plus economy. How could you make out this? You intend to buy any product, be it, be it a refrigerator or fridge as the case may be, or maybe an AC, maybe, maybe a music system, maybe mobile, maybe any electronic gadgets. Instead of one, instead of one, there are 10 or odd available. And, and remember, remember, once you are in a market driven system, opportunity is the buzzword. We are trying to search out new opportunities. Clear? So this system that we are in the market driven system suggests, yes, there are opportunities because the definition and the concept of business has changed drastically in this market driven system. Now, if somebody asks, what is the business? We understand this is nothing but opportunities. Can you imagine the one who thought that water can be sold. Trust me, in our time, selling water would be the would be the heinous crime. We would like to punish by our parents, even if we think of that we can sell water. But now, he who can thought, could deliver, could imagine that water can be sold. Could you imagine the size of this market? This is no less than 5,000 crore market. I am talking about processed water. I am not talking about mineral water. So that's the power. That's the power that we have because this market system provides us an opportunity to grow. At the same time, it results into tough competitions. For example, only five years back, you got this step, you got n number of e platform, could be could be this big bazaar, could be uh, mantra, and then then the snap deal and this and that, etc. However, however, only one or two survive, rest has packed up from this market one. So another lesson that we draw in a market driven system, the real, the real joystick is in the hands of consumer. He can write off, he can make you hero, he can make you zero. All right. Because now consumers have become more expressive. Why I'm saying all this thing? To understand and appreciate finance, you must understand the background, the system in which you are operating. It may be slightly technical, but you have to understand and appreciate because this is not a kind of run of the meal motivation lectures. This is none of the run of the meal kind of you can say how we can inspire you. No, it is the heart that talks about more details. In fact, what I'm saying is, is there is more than meet the eyes in our webinar. And therefore, I look forward for your participation. I look forward for your deliberations. This shall not be and should not be one way communication. I wish intervene, raise the question, we'll move on. All right. So, so 
in market driven system that we are though there are a number of war cities outcome is intense and tough competition you take any products any services there used to be only what we call it to be make by trip and now there are not one but there are many 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 make by trip clear and and not only this what used to be what used to be a online platform for selling books have turned out to be multi billion dollar conglomerate be it amazon be it walmart or be it your flip cart these are the success story that you have come across and this success story inspire us what shall be the future clear so so in the system that we are a as a producer as a consumer as a manufacturer the mandate is very clear the first mandate is yes customer loyalty is sacrifice if you are in, if you are from business family then your father or the one who looks after business even if you look after business the buzzword is most difficult is to acquire customer even more difficult is to retain customer because preferences and choices are keep changing and they are in the hands of they are in the hands of buyer only this first part once the customer loyalty is not there right the pressure is built up on your resources one so you keep on innovating you keep on figure out what could be the suitable what could be suitable to the emerging needs of the buyer one let's recall earlier the soft drink would be available no less than 1 liter or 2 liter now it's available in 200 ml as well logic we are trying to enroll new consumers see in a market that we are large number of buyers retire and large number of sellers do enter every time because because today we are in the country which has its power is buying power and the power is in your hands right so so india offers a market of 50 crore or more because that is the power of that is the youth generation consultation one and i'm sure today youth are very very aggressive very clear very decisive heads off to your understanding that we did not have you are able to discriminate you are able to find out which is good which is better therefore remember once customer loyalty is sacrificed all having said and done the pressure is built up on revenue line what is revenue line the line through which we try to ensure whether we are successful or we are not successful all right then then we adopt number of measures is called survival mechanism and that mechanism we will shall discuss some other day if that sounds good currently what we are talking about is we are talking about an overview of what finance world is all about clear the manifestation that you come across is as of now of finance is a there is a corporate finance talking about finance in company in corporate entity and that's precise it talks about regular called working capital capital investment called project financing capital investment call so not only you talk about resources sources clear you even talk about its applications one two two there are consumer finance that consumer finance would simply mean uh making money available make your funds also available to all and sundry consumer so that they can buy they can buy the goods if they don't have the real purchasing power in their hands clear the industrial finance which is nothing but financing the industrial sector that is all institutions right now fortunately unfortunately we had five uh institutions all time all india one reduced to only one or two which could we recall it idbi icic ifci and ibi and number of institutions and even including idfc all right their task is to develop industrial culture because remember a primary economy driven by agriculture cannot last long you have to grow you have to take on the world then you should have a strong industrial base and for that yes there is a concept of industrial finance is one clear now coming to this part there could be microfinance as well there could be ngo as well and there could be n number of uh, what i can say the institutions are there see we are in a market where there is plenty of institution instruments and intermediaries are available one 
Clear? Now, we move on. First, we talk about the corporate finance. And once you talk about corporate finance, we have to talk about a nothing but your financial accounting or accounting as the case may be. Most of us get confused with the word finance and accounts. Let me clarify, though you may be knowing about it, let me clarify. When I use the word finance, is nothing but planning and execution of resource mobilization and utilization. Why? When I talk about accounting, I'm talking about the, the record keeping, clear? The record keeping, the, the purpose of accounting is to keep record so that we can produce in systematic manner and that turns out to be finally as the balance sheet one. I'm sure some of you, if you're conversant with the concept of balance sheet, you'll say, what is the balance sheet? Nothing but the heart of the organization, clear? He who can read balance sheet is financial wizard. And therefore, if the terms are clear, we move on, else let me try and take up. All right. First, few time, few minutes I like to devote into accounting. I'm not teaching you what debit and credit is there. I'm just trying to talk about, we look at, we follow a double entry accounting system. In a double entry accounting system, we keep record at two places so that eventually we are able to match up. Clear? So first part of any accounting system is recording that you can record. Even, even voucher could be there, even, even general entries could be there. Then you come for classification. That turns out to be lesser, creation of lesser, nothing but putting all homogeneous information at one place. Clear? And then you turn out to be, what I can say, the tabulations called trial balance, and then you come out your final accounts, or you can say come out at the balance sheet, which, in, which has my primarily two segment one, the income statement, and second turns out to be a balance sheet one, clear? Income statement talks about profit, clear, and balance sheet talks about the economic condition of the organization, all right. Now, when I look at the income statement, which is the combination of both, that is the trading and that is the profit and loss one. That means, that means if you're conversant with this, I move on, or if you want to ask something at this point of time, if you want some more details, please raise your hands, else I move on, clear. Now, interestingly, when you look at balance sheet, nothing but summary of assets and liabilities, all right? Assets means that is owned by the organizations and is capable of, is, is, is capable of generating activity, generating revenue in the organizations one, clear? There can be fixed assets, there can be current assets, right? And there can be n number of, uh, what I can say is n number of variation of the assets, current assets, fixed assets, working uh, assets as the case, Maybe, all right? Other hand, other hand, there are the liabilities. When I use the word liabilities, it means what we owe to others. Surprisingly, most of you may not agree, may not, may be difficult to uh, digest. Yes, capital to an organization is liability of the organization that, that the organization has to pay, clear? Similarly, if I say profit is a liability, some of you may not agree to it, but yes, profit is a liability clear now interestingly we ask we often ask if profit is a liability then losses are our assets if losses are our assets then why we strengthen to make more profit thereby more liabilities why don't we stress more on the creating assets one clear so again i'll say please if you want to have the more in basics raise your hands else i presume that these basics are clear to you clear next so so one side of the income statement, we come across trading operations, that is the activity for which you have set up the business. We focus on operating profit, profit from operations. Or in simple words, you can say, or you can say the surplus of operating expenditures. All right, so thank you very much, but we'll be, ha we will have, we'll be happy in case you set the volume rule for tomorrow and suggest which area we like to discuss, dwell upon tomorrow. It can be investment banking, it can be consumer finance, can be stock market. I'll be happy to have because trust me, trust me, this is the beginning. This is not the end. And at the age which I'm at, I always believe that the future lies with you. Now, I've played my innings very well. I wish 
you to grow very high in the life. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow, sharp at 11.30. I am indeed thankful to you all for having spared this valuable time. I shall be happy in case I come across your feedback. That is what shall we do tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.